Hi everyone, it's Reverend Matthew here, and as you can see, I am coming to you today from the beautiful nave here at Holy Trinity Church in Pembroke, and today I'm going to try my best to give you a quick tour of Holy Trinity's new audiovisual system. This is a brand new multimedia system that was installed here at Holy Trinity right before Christmas, and it is the same system that your clergy team and lay leaders will be using to bring you online worship right across the parish of the valley during this latest COVID lockdown, but it's also going to allow us here at Holy Trinity to continue broadcasting worship on television and across the internet for many years to come. So come along and I'll give you a quick tour of how everything works. Before I go any further with the tour though, you may be asking yourself at home, Matthew, why can we see your, your face? Usually you have a mask on. Well, you can see my face today because I am the only person here recording this tour at Holy Trinity at this time. And our diocese asks that any time that we are together as clergy or laity, more than one of us in a, in a space at the same time, we're required to wear our masks as an added measure to keep each other safe. We look forward to the day when we won't have to, when COVID-19 will be behind us and we'll be able to see each other's smiling faces more and more. But that's why we are always wear wearing our masks when we're on television or on uh, the internet on Sundays. Uh, when we're filming, there's always more than one of us here, whether it's myself in the pulpit or a reader or an organist or an officiant up at the altar. And because there's more than one of us, we have to keep our masks on. I'm standing here right now next to the, the new command center. This is the home of our whole new audiovisual system here at Holy Trinity Pembroke. Many of you will recall that the stand was initially built by our beloved rector's warden, uh, Mike Sibley, who's now gone on to glory. And uh, the stand was originally built to house the uh, PowerPoint presentation that we use to sing hymns and say our prayers on Sunday when we're together as a church family. Now this whole console has been reworked so that not only can we still sing hymns, but we can also control the many cameras that are in the room, integrate our sound system, and produce the live stream that you'll be able to watch from home. Here's a picture of what the command center looks like from when you're standing behind it. And as Canon Susan said in her uh, opening remarks a few Sundays ago, it kind of looks like the cockpit of an airplane. And so it can seem a little intimidating, but it's actually not that complicated when you figure out what the various parts are for. On the desk, you'll see two computers. The one on the left controls our live stream and our broadcasting ability. It also serves as our electronic soundboard. The computer on the right, you'll see there's some hymn lyrics on it. It helps to control the overhead projector. It's the same computer we've been using for many, many years. In front of the computer on the left, you'll see a little keyboard, or what looks like a keyboard, and it's what's called a video switcher. This is a pretty standard piece of equipment in most television studios, and it allows you to go from one camera to the other pretty smoothly, so that there's a smooth transition between camera angles and shots. Down on the lower right, you'll see a console with what looks like a joystick. That joystick is used to help zoom the camera in and out and move it to different positions around the church. Finally, up top, you'll see two screens. The screen on the left is what allows us to control the live stream and the sound system. On the right, you'll see uh, the camera angles from across the church. And you can see that one camera is trained to the pulpit right now, one camera is trained to the altar, and one's looking at yours truly back here at the command center. And we can move those cameras right around the church. And let me show you how. You may be asking yourself at home, well, just where are all these cameras that are helping to put together worship each week from Holy Trinity for us to partake in from across the valley and beyond? Well, let me show you. There are now three cameras permanently installed at Holy Trinity Pembroke. Camera one, I'll toggle to now, is located when you're looking from the back of the church towards the front on the left-hand side. You can see it's straight across now, and it's between the window of Jesus calling his disciples and the angel appearing to Mary at the tomb to let her know that Jesus has been raised. And as you can see, it's quite discreet. If you didn't know to look for it, you probably wouldn't see it. But these cameras are incredibly powerful. As you just saw, I can zoom in and zoom out up to 20 times, it's a 20 time zoom. So we can really cover anywhere in the church from these cameras. This, this camera that I'm using now is camera three. It's located directly across the church from camera one. 
and it gives you this wonderful 180 degree full view of the church space. Camera two, which is the camera that uh, covers the high altar, it's located right up here. You can just see it tucked in at the top of the rood screen right there. And that camera is what allows us to shoot at the high altar and also in time, if we so choose, uh, things like choir anthems or performances from the choir pews. You might be wondering to yourself at home, well, why is the sound all of a sudden so much better? Well, the sound is so much better because the church's public address system, the system that for many years has allowed us to use microphones and speakers inside the church to be able to project better so that people can hear all throughout the building, that same system is now tied in to our audiovisual command center. And it's tied in with a hard wire. Previously, we were wirelessly transmitting the system to a cell phone, and that had its pluses and minuses. It allowed us to, yes, have some of the system, but now, as you can see with this box that's called a preamp, it uh, is much a much stronger system and is hardwired in. So the computer that's at the back of the church can take the audio system and merge it with the camera feeds all at the same time to give you that crystal, crystal, eh, crystal clear audio that you have at home. Never promise this will be done without any bloopers. One of the things our new video switcher allows us to do is change very quickly between different cameras. So right now the shot that you're looking at of the piano and the pulpit and the chancel area, it's coming from camera three. If we wanted to look all of a sudden at the lectern or at the organ, we hit a button on the switcher and you see very quickly it changes us over to camera one and camera one shows us the organ and the eagle. The nice thing about this new system is that each of our three cameras has up to 200 of what are called presets, which means that we can program in various camera angles and simply press a button to call the camera to go to the place where we need it to go. And so this means that for the person operating the system at the back of the church, it's a lot less hassle than having to zoom in and zoom out every time you want to move a camera. It's actually quite easy and quite smooth. You might also be asking yourself, well, well, what about the overhead projector? Is it still part of the system? Is it still part of worship at Holy Trinity? Certainly it is. As you can see on the camera now, it's still quite there. The screen isn't down at the moment, but the nice thing with this new system is we actually don't need to have the screen down to be able to show you at home while you're watching the slides that would be up on the overhead system. Again, it's simply a button that's pushed at the control center, and you can see that we can cut effortlessly to uh, hymn lyrics or prayers as necessary so that you can sing along at home even though we're not singing at the moment here at the church in Pembroke. So that's pretty much it. Those are the key components of our new audiovisual system here at Holy Trinity Pembroke. You'll remember that we have three cameras, one on the left-hand side of the church, one on the right-hand side, and one up at the front. And all of our microphones, including the clergy headset, the microphone at the lectern, the microphone at the pulpit, the auxiliary microphones, everything is networked together with this new broadcasting computer back here at the command center. And it is what allows us to live stream, to record, and to cut seamlessly between the various camera angles. Now, you might be wondering, well, how is this all going to work when we're back to in-person services? Obviously, a member of the clergy team isn't going to be sitting at the back of the church each Sunday, and no, we're not. Uh, I'm fully expecting myself to be back up in the pulpit and back behind the altar where I'm called and meant to be. But the good news is we already have two wonderful volunteers from here at Holy Trinity who are committed to being trained on this new system. And just from experimenting in the last few weeks, uh, they will tell you that um, it's really not as complicated as it looks. Uh, once you figure out which buttons to push, no pun intended, um, there are two or three key buttons and key, key camera angles, and once you've got those down, it's pretty intuitive. And so maybe this is a ministry that um, appeals to you at home. Maybe uh, you've always fancied yourself a bit of a techie, or you've wondered, what's it like to work in broadcasting? 
be sure if that's you to reach out to any member of our clergy team. We would love for this uh, online and streaming uh, outreach to really become a, a ministry across our congregations for those who are interested. And so if you're a member of, at Holy Trinity or really from anywhere across the parish, the valley, and, the, and learning how to operate this new system appeals to you, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'd love to give you a tour in person. Thanks so much for watching today. I look forward to seeing you all on your TV and your uh, YouTube in the weeks and months to come. And uh, until we meet again, stay safe. Thanks and God bless. Bye for now.